All right, good morning, Code 3. I want to talk about the news that everyone woke up to uh, from the overnight hours. Russia pushed into Ukraine. Looks like a fallout invasion there. I think most of, ex- most of us expected that. We could go off on a whole number of discussions with that. But I think uh, what I wanted to point out here this morning, and I think everyone expected this, was uh, the price of oil. So let me let me pull this up here. Sorry, I didn't have that ready. The price of oil spiked quite a bit in the last day. Um, it was over hundred dollars a barrel this morning. Now, in fairness, when we're comparing that to historical prices, I think we need to adjust that for inflation. We adjust everything else for inflation, so that needs to be at least considered. Um, but oil is spiking, and I wanted to share. Um, if you remember in October, we were talking about a few things from the New Orleans Investment Conference, and there was a lot of talk there about oil um, going way into the triple digits this year. At that time, I think oil, if I remember right, was about 70 or $80 a barrel, and they were expecting oil could hit 120 or maybe even double in 2022. And the talk was around a number of things, surprisingly, not Ukraine. So this is another layer in the cake that could maybe drive oil up and maybe for your consideration as you plan how to manipulate your portfolios and what you're going to do based on different risk and so forth. But anyway, uh, they seem to be talking a lot about um, lack of investment uh, in in anything carbon based and how it was moving to all Uh, or heavily, I should say, to renewable energies and what that does. And I thought of my good friend, Robert Helms, went to a goals retreat and Robert said something that is prolific. It's so simple, but it's so true. And he said, when you say yes to something, you are automatically saying no to something else at the very same time. So if you think about that, if I'm sitting here doing this video, I'm saying yes to do this video to talk to you folks. I'm by definition saying, or by default saying no to doing anything else at this very moment in time. So, you know, if we're talking about Keystone pipelines or European pipelines or investment in green energy or carbon-based energy or whatever, you know, we get so rooted, I think, in the social pushes behind that and the politics behind that, that sometimes we lose sight of just the common sense. And this is going to squeeze people. It's already squeezing people. I would imagine as demand of oil uh, picks up is the driving and traveling season, at least then maybe a little bit of the heating burden will lower, but then we'll start into the cooling season as it relates to coal and everything else. And these markets, you know, we're from a heavy coal market and, it's been a roller coaster for the last six years or so, and it's it's all due to natural gas, and the natural gas is due to the amount of oil production and gas production and a number of things. But it's just like riding a roller coaster. Um, anyway, when when politicians are saying yes to one thing for their own self interest, they want to get elected, they want to uh, uh, capture votes or whatever the case may be, they're by definition saying no to something else. So if they want to push environmental agenda, okay, that's fine. But then you're going to say no to something else right now, cheap energy. So all it takes is one event like what we witnessed overnight to further push energy up. And we think of oil just in the, in the terms of, you know, fuel to move things, which is huge, but oils in everything oils in all products. And I look at the chart. Let me, let me actually pull that back up. Let's, let's look at this, uh, in the Wall Street Journal here, and let's just look at the oil trending. So here back in 20 or in December, you know, we recently got those inflation reports and look where oil was. Now we're trying to combat inflation, but look where oil is now. And oil is in everything, not only in transportation of all the goods, but in the manufacturing of a lot of goods, a ton of goods, almost everything. There's some degree of oil in it. And so it'll be interesting to see what this does to inflation. And you already see the narrative in the mainstream media talking about, um, they're talking about how the Ukraine crisis is going to drive up inflation. Point is, people making decisions along the way 
for their own self-interest. What is a self-interest? To be elected. So they make decisions that will appease people. They speak to people emotionally. I heard George Gammon talking about this the other day, and he's so right. You know, we get on here, and I like to put together charts and graphs and show, you know, different data points and talk about this and that. And, and you guys watching these videos like that because you're trying to grow your portfolios and see how you can pivot. And then we're plugging you into information from other people and so forth. But a lot of people, most people, by definition, they just think emotionally. So politicians tied to emotions. So everything's about we're going to end the world or we're not going to end the world. And it, it's so so little of it's in data. Nobody talks about cause and effect. Well, hey, we're thinking about doing this, but that may push oil through the roof and it may cause that. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of a tangent there. But it, uh, I wanted you to be aware of the oil prices this morning. I think that's going to create some pressures. And if we're already over $100 a barrel with this, we haven't even got into the heavy travel season. I just be curious to see how that comes to fruition based on the discussions at the New Orleans Investment Conference, which included with some some people in the oil business, and they were they were projecting uh, um, pretty high rates. In fact, we might even uh, see about getting some of those boys on here, and they had some pretty interesting um they had a pretty interesting analysis, I guess, as to why major oil producers may be moving some to somewhat towards green energy and capturing the tax benefits there and what their longer term play may be. Maybe we'll reach out to to Bob or Jay or or something like that and, and see if they want to come on and talk about that at some point. You guys might get some benefit out of that. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Just want to take a look at the oil here today. And uh, don't don't forget, we got the meetup. It's ticking across the bottom of the screen. Just send uh, an email to meetup at code3assets.com. It'll be an interactive meetup on March 9th, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Be happy to have you. We'll see you next time.